Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about stepwise regression. But even before I demonstrate how stepwise regression works in IBM SPSS, may I request you to subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. Firstly, what exactly is stepwise regression? Stepwise regression is a variable selection method. I repeat, it's a variable selection method. To a large extent, it helps us solve the problem of multicollinearity. It helps us identify the best subset of predictors and it also helps us get rid of insignificant predictors from the model. To see how stepwise regression works in SPSS, I'm using this data set from sample files of SPSS, which is called as a car sales file. You can see the heading here, it is called as car sales. This data set has vehicle characteristics. The very first variable called as sales here will be used as the dependent variable. There are other characteristics like resale, type, price, engine size, horsepower, wheelbase, length, curb weight, mileage per gallon. These variables will be used as independent variables. I repeat, these variables will be used as independent variables to build a stepwise regression model. To build the stepwise regression model, let's begin by clicking on the Analyze menu. In the Analyze menu, let me choose the option Regression. Here, the second item is what is called as Linear Regression. To illustrate the path once again, Analyze, Regression, and then Linear. As you can see here, all the variables that are there in the data set are in the canvas on the left hand side. And to the right side, you have the dependent as well as the independent list. In the dependent list, I will be choosing sales as the variable. In the independent list, I will be choosing all the variables and pushing it under the independent columns list. So you can see here, sales is the dependent variable, and I am taking 11 independent variables. Under the option method, the default option is what is called as the enter method. Let's first work on the enter method. I'll choose the option OK. You can see here, this is the model output. The R square value is 0 0.346, which simply means 34% of the variation in sales is explained by the set of independent variables that we have taken in the model. Next, we'll look at the ANOVA table. Here, the significance value is 0 0.000. Clearly, it is less than 0 0.05. It indicates that building a model is better than guessing or using mean. What is really interesting is the model coefficients table. You can see here, the 11 predictors are being displayed. The unstandardized coefficients are also displayed by SPSS. But when you look at the significance level, for many of these variables, the significance level is greater than 0 0.05. Example, when you look at four-year resale value, this is the variable that I'm looking at, four-year resale value, you can observe that the significance level is 0.911. It is clearly bigger than 0 0.05. Similarly, for the variable price, the significance level is 0.734 greater than 0 0.05. For horsepower, the significance level is 0 0.127 greater than 0 0.05. Similarly, for width and length, the significance level is greater than 0 0.05. Since there are too many predictors, also, we observe that there are several insignificant predictors in the model indicating that these variables do not contribute much to the model. There is no point building a model with insignificant predictors. This is where stepwise regression comes to our rescue. Stepwise regression works in a very, very interesting way. At each step, the independent variable that has the smallest probability of F is entered. I repeat, at each step, 
the independent variable that has the smallest probability of f is entered if that probability is sufficiently small. Also, variables already in the regression equation are removed if the probability of f becomes sufficiently large. This method terminates when no more variables are eligible for inclusion or removal. I repeat, the stepwise method stops when no more variables are eligible for inclusion or removal. So to check how the stepwise method works, let me click on the dialog recall option. You can see here the very first option here is linear regression. These are the variables that I had entered. I will not be making any changes as far as the independent variables list are concerned. Now, under the method, let me choose the drop-down menu. The second option here is what is called as stepwise method. Let me click on stepwise and choose the option OK. Once you choose stepwise regression, the output of stepwise regression is visible. You can see here, in three different iterations, stepwise regression has identified the best subset of predictors. In the first iteration, wheelbase was chosen as the best predictor. In the second iteration, curve weight was chosen as the second best predictor. And in the third iteration, vehicle type was chosen as the third best predictor. So the final model will be built using three predictors, namely wheelbase, curb weight, and vehicle type. Nextly, let's look at the model summary table. You can see here how the R square improves with each significant predictor. The first model, which was built using only wheelbase, produces a R square of 16%. The second model, which was built using wheelbase and curb weight, produces a R square of 24%. The third model, which is built using wheelbase, curb weight, and vehicle type, produces a R square of 29%. We see successively R square value improving, which is a good sign. We can see the ANOVA table. The final ANOVA table has a significance level of 0 0.000. In the final table, we have used three variables, wheelbase, curb weight, and vehicle type. Let's look at the model coefficient table. Please look at only the third model, wherein we have three variables, wheelbase, curb weight, and vehicle type. When you observe the significance level here, it is 0 0.000 for each of these variables, indicating that these variables are significant. Only for the variable vehicle type, it is 0 0.004, which is again less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we can conclude that this model consists of only significant predictors, namely wheelbase, curb weight, vehicle type, and all the insignificant model coefficients have been removed. What's also very interesting is the adjusted R square value. Let me show you the adjusted R square value for stepwise regression, the final model has an adjusted R square of 0.279, which is 27%. Let us compare it with the adjusted R square of enter method. Here you see the adjusted R square is 27.7%, which means that when you use stepwise regression with only three variables, the adjusted R square by and large remains same, it remains consistent. There is no dramatic drop in the adjusted R square when we use three variables instead of 11 variables, which is a good sign. This is how stepwise regression is used widely because it acts like a variable selection method. It helps us solve the problem of multicollinearity. It helps us get rid of insignificant predictors in the model. It also helps us identify the best predictors. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. I request you to like this video in case you have liked this presentation. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.